Hey everyone, this is Aaron, and I'm here again to show you another tip with the Google Classroom on how you can structure and make your life easier in a one-to-one -one environment, or if you're just using Google Classroom, if you're part of a um, Google Scraps education. So one of the things that's sometimes hard to show that's, that that's a very important tool, especially when you get into um, further into your school year or wanting to do and reuse some things from a previous school year is the reuse post. So here I'm getting ready to launch a, a second cohort of the Google Classroom PD, and I want to reuse an assignment that I have posted in the first cohort, but I don't want to recreate it all and do all that good stuff. So when you go down here to your plus, there's this reuse post. And the beauty of this is you can go through with all your classes that you have. In my case, I want to go to cohort one, and I'm going to select that. And then you can find the assignment that you want to reuse. So for me, it's this impact of technology. And you have the option, you can reuse it as is, or you can click this box right here and create new copies of all the attachments, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click reuse. And once that happens, it's gonna move it over here to the cohort two. And now here's the assignment labeled just the way it was, the same directions, the same kind of setups, the, the documents, everything are right there. And now I can go through and I can post the due dates. I can put all these different things in there to, and I hit my assignment just like I normally would an assignment. So this is a great tool if you have assignments from a previous year or earlier in the year or from another class that you were testing out and you don't want to repost it all. It's all right here, quick and easy with the reuse option.